What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two news stories for you. So let's dive right in. Our first story of the day, D has to do with this one, the Pixel Watch. It's the first update hitting this watch and it's bringing some fixes and some features. So the information that's being com uh, coming out right now, and I don't have this update, I checked on my watch for it, I don't have it, but fixes improvements uh, for hands-free profile HFP calling. Battery saver enable disable single tap support has been added. A fix for the issue where the watch face complications occasionally were not displaying correct data and fixed for issue where exercise layout was sometimes cut off. Now you can check for this update on your watch. I did, I don't have it yet, like I said, but yeah, nice to see that they're finally pushing an update for the Pixel watch. And our last story of the day has to do with a Pixel Fold benchmark that has leaked out to the universe, a Geekbench score. And you're gonna hear stuff like, oh, it's not as good as what we get with the Galaxy Z Fold 4 or this phone or that phone. But just remember, if you've touched a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, you know that that phone is super smooth, opens apps super smooth. It does basically everything that you want very, very well. I say it all the time. We're at this point where like, sure, can you get some extra frames per second on a phone that's more powerful with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or so soon to come 8 Gen 2? For sure. But will the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro still game at a high enough level so it looks great or performs well? Yes. So don't freak out about that stuff. With that said though, here are the benchmarks that are being leaked out for this phone. So, so far, with the scores, you can see right here, they are 1047 on the single core and 3257 on the multi-core score, which I just ran the same benchmark test on my Galaxy Z Fold 4, and I got 1324 and I got 3819. So, I, again, don't freak out. The Google Pixel Fold is going to run the same processor, the G2 processor, as the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. It has 12 gigs of RAM, just like the Pixel 7 Pro, and runs Android 13, like the Pixel 7 Pro. So don't freak out about it. If, if, if you're a person that gets locked into benchmarks, you're always gonna be worried about, oh, it's not meeting this and this and this requirement. If you get the phone, you'll be very pleasantly surprised and, and enjoy the experience. So I wouldn't freak out about it. I know some of the media um, is trying to put some salacious headlines like, oh my God, it's gonna, it's not as powerful, it's not gonna be as great. It'll be just fine. Don't freak out and you'll still be able to do everything you love and it'll still perform really, really well. Let me know your thoughts though on the Pixel Fold. I am so looking forward to this phone, very, very much so. Uh, without further ado though, let's get into the Q&A portion of this video. Remember we're answering two questions every single day for the month of December. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag and then the word question. All right, our first question comes from Shajil Shazad. I haven't said that name in a while. Do you think they will ever bring a four app split screen to tablets since I never understood the limitation to three? That's a good question. I don't know why they don't do that. Even on a phone like the Galaxy Z Fold 4, like you can only do, I mean, you can pull in a fourth window, but it's like one that's not locked in there. I don't know why they don't do it. I, I agree with you. Will they do it? It wouldn't surprise me if they did, but at the same time, I don't know why they don't. If you, someone can think of a good reason why you can't have four windows on your, your, your big tablet or your Galaxy Z Fold 4 at once, tell me, because I can't think of one good reason. And our last question from Mr. D's product review channel. Uh, Starlink will be partnering with mobile providers worldwide that are willing to collaborate with Starlink to eliminate dead spots. Should there be a dedicated app or Starlet icon on all devices other than just uh, built-in apps or the GPS pin icon. I think they will have some kind of icon on the phone that indicates, hey, you're connected to the GPS satellite or now you're using the GPS satellite. So yeah, I think I don't think we need a dedicated app for it, but I think it'll be, you know, it'll be seamless on the phone. You probably won't even really notice, but there'll be some kind of indication, just like you see 5G or LTE at the top, it'll have some kind of satellite icon on there. Thanks for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.